Hey, Gemini, it's Tuesday. We're going to do another one. <laughs> I just love you guys. I started to do Pisces Cancer, but anyway, so this is another general rating. It is free, 100% free for you. Um, you can support the channel by hitting thumbs up, leaving comments, subscribing, please. And um, But let's go ahead and get started. This is, you've got your guard up. Your guard is up about someone who possibly comes and goes or left without explanation, walked away with things incomplete, kind of leaving you not taking the time to make sure that you are okay, something like that. So your guard is up and I feel like um, you've got somebody coming back, but there's a cycle. We've got the world card here. It's kind of, I, I feel like your challenge is you don't know what to say or how to handle it when this person comes back. And that's what's, um, that's bothering you. So what to say, how to act like it's like, you know, you're not too hurt, but are you hurt? Like almost to the point where you don't even know how you feel or you're not, no, don't know how you're supposed to feel. Cause there's, so, there you, there's, there's a lot of feeling here, but there's a big fat glitch in the way it's supposed to go when you feel strongly for someone. So anyway, then we've got the eight of emotions. This is like eight of cups walking away and then a world card. But this is a beautiful card. This card has, um, well, I mean, it's the world card for one, but it also has wings. And it this cycle completing has a lot to do with communication. And this communication is bright and cheerful and uplifting. All right, so how are you, Gemini? Let's lay out your spread. Look what I got. I got some of my, well, I guess I can't show you everything, but I got my new wire. Okay, so I started to get hooked up to do a live and looked into the software and everything. And oh my gosh, it's going to be too, I'm just going to have to do it the, like, the non-fancy way, like with my cell phone. Um... My son was going to set up all this fancy stuff, so it would be high quality and all this stuff. It's like, you know what, that's too much for me to learn to f at all at once. And I'm just dying to talk to you guys, so I can't wait to do a live. But... Okay, so seven of coins. Hmm, putting, well, let's see. Yeah, so it, I feel I feel like things. Um, this is just making me think, and I don't know if how this resonates. Let me fix my light real quick. Um, but I feel like this may be a message to me. But it's kind of like, don't wait, um, don't wait to do hard things. They get harder. Okay, so there's a lot of mental energy, and this absolutely could be for me. Of course, this is your reading, so it should be for you. But there's a lot of um, negative thoughts and and trickery, mental, you know, negative self-talk that is prolonging you from making changes. But it's weird because I feel like your readings, you've been very abundant. But yeah, don't wait. For things to get easier for the perfect time you're the emperor make things happen okay strong strong and capable all right so right. <clears throat> something rising venus is about a return i think is what we're focusing on about a return your energy three of voices so yeah there again i feel like there's a lot of mental there's sadness um, see the tears, but there's something trying to get you. It's like, uh, do I, there's something dark trying to get you, but it just, it's, it's almost like spirits like going, uh, uh, eyes on me. One, two, three eyes on me. Stay steadfast. Don't look at that other stuff. I literally had an experience, a, per, a, a very spiritual experience with spirit. Um, I can't. These are the things I want to talk to you guys about live, you know. Um, but, I mean, just so much love and, and just kept emphasizing, uh-uh-uh, eyes on me, eyes on me, stay steadfast. So, something, see those light beams trying to, this makes me want to cry. 
See the light beams trying to pull the sad person up out of the darkness? Turn around walk through that door. Yeah. Oh, powerful. Powerful card. Okay, so that's your energy. Nine of emotions. Okay, so that's blessings. Nine of emotions, obviously. A lot of emotion, a lot of love. You are filled with so much love. Eight of wands. Communication, moving forward. Bad, a, a, bad, you know what? I'm trying not to cuss. I don't know what's going on with my channel, but it's getting scary. Like, it's just, I don't know if I've been flagged or I don't know what it is. It's scaring me. Um, the Magician. We had the Emperor and the Magician. So, the Magician is somebody that has all the tools they need to manifest to make things happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, sun, happiness, illumination, brightening. So yeah, there's still something sad here in your environment or in your past trying to hold you back, catches you off guard sometimes. Maybe you'll be going about your business, knowing your knowing doing your thing, you know, being being a firecracker and then something some memory or thought or ache, I want to say, heart ache will just overwhelm, be, just sneak up on you and then it's like, ah. Oh. So it could maybe bring you to your knees. But just um, the word equanimity, let those feelings pass. Let those feelings come. Don't try to be too rigid or they bounce off and reject them. Just, you know, breathe through it. Um, exhale through it and uh, know that those things happen and they'll pass if you don't I feel like we've been kind of taking the law of attraction a little bit too far whereas we say if we don't think about if we don't think about someone I think if we don't think about someone our brains are probably going to think about them more <laughs> so there's a there's a tweak in that I want to say which is to allow don't fight the feelings. Allow, but just know that it's natural and that you get back on track. The lovers. Wow. A beautiful, beautiful lotus. This is like, some of you guys might be into like um, the universal symmetry and like pyramids and stuff, but this is beautiful. So the lovers card, wow. That's often about making a decision between two people. Sometimes it's, what I'm seeing a lot in tarot these lately is the decision between love and self-love. Like it's, it's two people, but one of those people is actually the, um, is me or you, the reader, the viewer. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> okay. I am intertwined with you guys somehow. Um, zebra, zebra, somebody have zebra striped pillows or something. I don't know, this is like a, gla a Hollywood glamour style. Some Somebody is, I think, into decor. It's not, I don't, not where I, not, I'm just getting it. Okay, so four of, um, swords, rewards, taking a break. This is not a negative four of swords. This is removing yourself from something to rejuvenate. Um, baths at night and showers at night are so valuable. I mean, yes, they're valuable in the morning too, because it can get you going, but it's also a way to like kind of cleanse off any top negative energy from the day. If you really work on visualizing it, but here we have those lights reaching up to heaven again, this is, uh, it's kind of feels like you for you making yourself do it. Um, this is your person actually down here is the energy I'm supposed to be reading you overall and them person on your mind hmm. Queen of materials so three of emotions I wonder if somebody put you in a third party but this is looks like them retreating I'm still feeling you on that card Okay, so they are trying to work on their self-value as well. Interesting. 
Ace of Inspirations. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this deck, read this uh, Queen of Materials real quick too. So seven of emotions. So it looks like in the recent past somebody treated you like a um, option, or you didn't feel like you stood out. They didn't see you for who you were, and it was because there was something other, too much other things going on, cl cl cluttering, maybe too many opinions. Oh, so King of Swords is coming in. Interesting in the end. I think what challenge is going to happen... Four of Cups. So this four of so this king, this air sign, I think you might be dealing with, is trying to. They may be somebody that talks about self love or self, you know, care. But they're feeling left out, right now. It looks like they're going to come back. Did you guys see that? Four of emotions. Four of Cups. Um, missed opportunity is what I'm getting. Yeah, this, somebody's going to be blocked. You're blocking them. Maybe they blocked you. Uh, the tables are just going to turn so much. And it's because you've seen the light. This doesn't seem like a very good reading or happy reading yet, but it is. This person is going to... The person you're thinking about, the person that hurt you, the person that still takes your breath away, that still knocks you on your you-know-what because... It hurts and it doesn't make sense. They didn't explain it. They didn't give you if feel, what it felt like the understanding or explanation or um, you don't know the whole story. It's hard to heal from that. Right? I Again, I, I feel like this almost like feels like it almost took you out. But what's coming is this person is going to realize that they missed out. I think that you're not going to give them the time of day. This might either somebody that blocked them or now they're going to get a taste of their own medicine. Um, I'm going to say something real quick. You've got new love. I do definitely felt love coming though. I just got to see, I got to ask the right questions. Let me see this. So it looks pretty like they're pretty standard meanings. Mothering, nurturing, energy, financial wealth and gain, unconditional love, prosperity, trusting the universe. So I, you know what I think? I think this person that you're dealing with has some issue, childhood issues with their maybe abandonment or something. Or maybe they've got an, um, a mother voice in their head. I feel like there's more to that though. I'm going to clarify. But anyway, you're going to be seen in all your glory, in all your light, and it comes full circle. Because in the past, it was almost a baffling how this person misunderstood you or didn't see you for what you are, but that turn comes totally around. And I do feel like you have... Tell me, um, Gemini's current state or feelings are about this. Yeah, there it is again. Did y'all see that? How many times I shuffled? The hermit. This was the card I was just looking at. The hermit, it's going off on your own and realizing it's like a light comes on and you're like, oh, how in the world could I have felt so down about myself because of somebody else's inadequacies or Maybe because of their wounds are affecting the way they act. It wasn't you. It was them, okay? Um, Queen of Voices. Queen of Swords. So I feel like, it, it, for some of you, somebody this may have been some mean, harsh things said, but for a lot of you, it's what wasn't said that was didn't make sense, that didn't get didn't get the time it deserved. Um, what's the challenge, though, for Gemini? 
Yes, yeah, see, it's the voices. Same thing we started off with. The voices in your head, but you're overcoming that. I might have to pull another deck. Um, why do we have the lovers card? Tell me about that lovers. The emperor, strong. This is it was powerful in the beginning. Are you guys seeing this? The same cards that I felt strong in the beginning. Um, hold on one moment. No, not that one, okay. Let's look at, oh my gosh. Look what I just, oh, it's the Hierophant. I thought it was the Emperor. Okay, let's just um, get some real specific questions. So we have a return. You're guarded. I feel like your challenge is gonna be how to handle the return and what to say. Uh, and I think, you're gonna know, there's gonna be something that's gonna be clear because of the way it's communicated. Oh, I put it back. It was the, it was the page of inspiration. Okay. Okay, what's next for Gemini? In love. See? Y'all are freaking scary, powerful, strong reading right now. The lovers, you're going to choose. You're going to have to choose. And I do have that. I kind of feel like it's there's multiple messages here. There always are. But I feel like it's first it's choosing yourself. First it's self-love. And then what happens is someone new is coming in. I feel it. Someone new is coming in. And it's like almost like a, this is almost like a test. Like this was something that happened in, page it. Ten of Pentacles, something that happened, and the reason it continued on or didn't wrap up fast enough was because it was something that happened that you were getting kind of caught in a repetitive cycle of not choosing yourself or trying to. Um, um, explain the way the best case scenario or fantasize something, a good explanation. But the bottom line is it didn't, they didn't take the time to do that. So the answer was self-love. And once you get to that, which I think you're there or you're struggling with, but you're, you're, you're on your way. You might have a few of these moments, right? Spirit is, spirit is talking to you here big time and elevating you. It's like Phoenix rising, but that's, I think you've got that choice. I think uh, it's twice. The, while all this is going on, it's not denying that it's painful. It is accepting that it's painful and allowing, embracing that pain and then just allowing it to be part of your environment. This is just part of my journey. This is part of what happened to me. Um, but it hurts and I, and I can do hard things. I can move forward even when things hurt, okay? So then you choose yourself and then what happens next? Seven of Pentacles. There's temperance. So two, two, um, two cards about patience and waiting, maybe balance, not rushing. There's a page of cups, but let's see. Tell me about the future. What, what comes in? Oh, so big time something's going to be revealed. Wow. So this might be saying not to rush. If somebody comes back and you're not sure, um, be patient. Take, take your time. Don't rush because look at that. That's crazy. Those two flipped out together. This is something being illuminated. The, the, light, the light being sh shine, sh shined on something. And it looks like there's a, a false mask here. And also this is a, a clarity of which way to go how to deal with it. Be patient. Don't try to figure out probably how to deal with it. Um, but some more, so there's something that you don't know that's going to come to light. Interesting. Okay, my gosh. So there's deception here that you don't even know about. Can you see that? Amazing. 
So I feel like Gemini, you're trying, you've been trying to not blame yourself and you've been struggling with that. And in this, the, what really went down and why this didn't happen. Um, it's like, it feels so sad and hurtful, but there's some beautiful reason why it didn't happen. I'm going to have to pull an Oracle. Wow. Queen of Wands in the world. So some sort of drama um, is coming to close. Wow. That took a turn, huh? Not expect I wasn't expecting that. That's like almost like a shocking truth. Could be about a mother and foundations. But look at that four of wands. I'm not feeling this bad. Two of cups. Two of wands. All right, not feeling that deck. Let me grab one more real quick. I'm going to grab the twin flame deck because that kind of part came out. Hold on. This is not, I'm not even supposed to be doing y'all's reading. I'm supposed to be doing cancer. So, cancer. Okay, so just grab this Twin Flame. This is Twin Flame by Mystic Moon, Twin Flame Terra. Tell me more about um, what's next. I, I mean, you got a, if you got a, a strong um, vibe of money here. Self-sabotage and nightmares. Ugh. An ace of cups. Well, how do I explain that? I don't know. That might be the cycle. So this is trying to tell us something. Two of cups, two of wands. So it's like a decision. And then the, the two of wands is a which way to go. There's two life-altering choices. One looks like it might be that three. If that is trying to tell us that, give me one more on that. Two more, one more on this two of cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. I think it's going to be super hard, but I think you're going to end up ending it with this person. And if you haven't yet and you're going to, or you have already, then I'm sorry I keep bringing it up. Um... Hmm, king of pentacles, that's good. Somebody stable with money, there you go again. You're going to have a choice. It's just saying the same thing. Oh my gosh, two cards about twin flame. So, I wouldn't go out seeking twin flame because it's a very painful experience, but you have a soul connection here and you're going to have to make a choice of continuing to... So if you're in that place where you just keep getting hurt over and over, that's why you're still in that place because the you ha it, the whole point is to grow out of it and to grow past it. Um, for uh, the, any connection to work is not to stay in a toxic, you know, let somebody not respect you place. But I mean, look at that! Holy moly! Yeah, you're gonna have a choice between two people, and look at that four of ones again. I should do a Gemini extended. Maybe I'll do a Gemini extended. I don't do them very often, but when I do them, they're so freaking good. They're creepy good. So um, I'm going to start doing them probably some more, but the ones I do have are all timeless. So check those out. I'll link them below. And if there's one that goes, I probably am going to do one with this. It'll be a twin flame. We'll look for twin flame confirmation. We'll look for what's going on in the connection we get time we get everything we ask for time frames um um is it a twin strong advice i feel a little torn on whether to do that here because i feel like you've got gonna have an option between two people and the person that you're with now I, and doesn't mean like later down the road it won't change, but I feel like what's coming up, you're going to choose the new person. You, once you put an end to this toxic cycle, 
like it everything illuminates and you see things clearly i mean with some toxic energy is going to be revealed maybe that is going to free you for this i mean geez twin flame four of wands 11 11 everywhere crazy Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. It's beautiful. Look at that image, it's just so pretty. Can you guys see the house? It's floating. All right, let me get one oracle. And then we will wrap it up. So I think the message is to stop, you know, fighting whatever this is not working right. Let it end. Choose yourself. Grow in other ways. And I think something, I, for most of you, this is something else unbelievable is going to come in. And you're going to know if it's right because of the way it feels when that, when the, with the messages. If the messages are going to be very exciting and loving and it's not going to have a heavy energy. Yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh. The answers you need are coming. Wow. That's crazy. Um, one, you're Gemini. And two, we just had those cards show that something major is going to shocking. It's something shocking is going to be real, revealed, but so are the answers. Let's read that. Full moon. And Gemini. 72. Please hit like, share, subscribe, you guys, and help the channel. It's I'm getting very uh, not sure what I'm gonna what to do about the channel. Um. Okay, it's a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener right now. You need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could be one or a few of conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. That's that page of inspiration we got. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes, to, comes as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message least said, soonest, least said, soonest mended. So this is saying guard your tongue. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. We got that so many times, remember? Negative self-talk. So a lot of this is for you. You regarding you. Words have enormous power. As a metaphysician, metaphys Florence Scovel Shin said, your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Remember in the beginning we got the magician? Right when we were talking about the negative self-talk. This is all about um, be careful what you say. Speak highly over yourselves. You know what I tried yesterday and this helped? Like some people that I have adversity for. Um, First of all, you surround yourself, you close your eyes and breathe in love, surround yourself with, you know, beautiful glowing light of love. And then the person that you're sad about or mad at or whatever, you also send them, you know, visualize them in some, in some love and healing emotions. Um, I don't know. And somehow then you can just kind of like wipe it off, like wipe off any negative energy and just try that trick. I don't, hopefully that would be, I, I'm going to try it again today. Also, gratitudes. Write down your gratitudes. Always, always, always. Even if it's just toothpaste, running water, you know. Sunshine. Get some sun. I love you guys. I'm rambling now. Please hit like. <laughs> and keep your eye out because we are going to go live soon. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye, Gemini.